In this video, we will study about static cast. So, static cast is the simplest type of cast in C++, and it's a compile time cast. And its syntax is static cast, and then you mention the type, and then the expression or the variable. Now we know the syntax of static cast. Let's explore when should we use static cast. So, when implicit conversion happen, then you should it's better to use static cast. For example, if we have a float whose value is 10.5 and we have an int and we are assigning the float to int, then implicitly the compiler will convert it to int and assign it as 10. But while debugging or, or later on uh, while you are searching, then uh, this static keyword will be very useful. So it's better to use static cast rather than relying on the implicit conversions. Then we should use a static cast to prevent any dangerous casts because static cast is more restrictive. For example, if we have a character C, so we know that characters occupy one byte in memory and we are taking the address of that character and then casting it to integer pointer. So if this is the memory and C was stored here in one byte. So ideally any pointer to this should be character pointer and it would know that uh, I am pointing to an address of one byte and whenever I am being modified I will modify this one byte. But when we are pointing an int pointer to this address then this pointer will think that I have 4 bytes in memory and I can modify these 4 bytes in memory. So this is what happens here. So if we use this C style cast then it's allowed. And we can assign 3 here. So this pointer P1 will think that I have 4 bytes in memory. So it will assign 0, 0 and all zeros and in the end it will have 0, 1, 1 and this will be the memory state so all zeros and in the end 1, 1 here in the fourth one so this is uh, this may lead to some uh, runtime errors so it will be allowed at the compile time but it may fail at runtime because it's expected that if you have a pointer you pointer to a character then you are just allowed to modify one byte but you are thinking of four byte and modifying accordingly but if you use the static cast and try to cast it to int pointer then it will give a compile time error and it will prevent uh, any undesirable circumstances at the runtime. So it's better to use static cast in such situations. Then if we have conversion operator or conversion constructor in a class, then it's uh, suggested to use static cast for better understanding. For example, uh, first let's uh, understand what is conversion constructor. So if any class has a constructor, it may have other constructors as well, but it has a one at least one constructor which is taking just one argument, in this case integer. So we can create an object of that class and assign it an integer and it will work. It will use the conversion constructor because this constructor just expects one integer and we are assigning it an integer. So the conversion constructor will be called. So if we have an object of type A and we are assigning 10 to it, then it's valid. But from readability point of view, it doesn't look good. You are assigning an integer to an object. So it's better to use this syntax here, A OBJ, then a static cast to A this 50. So this is more readable. Similarly, if we have a conversion operator, so we have a conversion to a string 
operator defined inside this class. So this class can be assigned to a string as well. So here we have a string s1 and we are directly assigning this object to this string s1. And this also doesn't look very uh, good. So when somebody else is reading the code, it's not very readable or even you may like to revisit your code after some time and you may get confused. So it's better to explicitly use static cast in such situations. Now let's see some more use cases of static cast. So when you want to convert any pointer type to a void star or you want to convert from void star to any other pointer type, then you should use static cast in such situations. So here it's uh, converting to void star and here it's from void star. Another use is, and this is very critical, so when we have inheritance and there is, is a relationship, then we are allowed to use static cast. But if we are inheriting by private inheritance, then this violates the is a relationship. So first let's understand uh, something about private inheritance and uh, it's not is a but it follows has a relationship. So when we have a public inheritance then it will follow the is a relationship. So let's see one example and this is taken from Scott Mayer's book Effective C++. Here person is a class, it's a base class and then student is deriving from this privately. So student is also a person. You will think that a student is, is a person. But when you inherit privately, we know that all the public and protected members of the base class are inherited as private members. And you are not allowed to call those members functions because those are now private to the derived class. So you cannot call those functions using a derived class object. So let's say eat is a function and it expects a person object here and a study is a function which expects a student object. So not all persons study but a students study. But eat is a function which expects person because anyone can eat. Now let's see we have one person object and one student object and uh, we are calling eat with p and this expects a person object so it's fine but when we call eat s then it gives error but why should that be is isn't a student a person because we it has inherited from person only but it still it gives error because we have done private inheritance so we see that here the is a relationship is not followed in the private inheritance but if we had done this public, then in that case it would have been okay. But in private, it has a rather than is a. So here is a is violated. Now let's come back to our casting example, static cast example. So when is a relationship is followed during inheritance, then we can cast it to base pointer. So here we have a, a derived object B and then we have a base class pointer and we are casting it to base star using C style casting it's allowed but when we do casting using static cast this is not allowed because we have seen in this example that a relationship is not followed and so uh, during private inheritance so we should not cast a derived class to base class because derived class is not a base class when there is private inheritance so ideally we should not do and a static cast will prevent you from doing that but when we use C style cast then it's allowed so this should be kept in mind so it's for extra safety and if you want to use static cast then you should use public inheritance here in that case each relationship will be followed and you can use the static cast and it will not give any error at the compile time. So that's all for the static cast. See you in the next video. Thank you.